Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Fiber optic networks have a high capacity, experience no crosstalk, and can be installed in areas with high EMI. However, there are some weaknesses and flaws with fiber, especially at connection points where insertion loss and return loss may occur. Today, I will talk about four different fiber connectors ferro polish ships for their return loss reduction. But first, let's look at the fiber connector common component, ferro. What's a ferro? Take a look at these FC connectors as an example. Ferro is the extended tip of a connector that makes contact with the receptacle in the jack. The ferro is very sensitive, and even some dust on it would affect its performance. When the connector is not in use, we cover the ferro with a cap for protection. Now let me introduce two light signal attenuation or loss relevant to fiber optic. One is insertion loss, the other is return loss. Insertion loss is the loss of signal power resulting from the insertion of a device in a transmission line. In other words, when a fiber optic component inserts into one another, a light attenuation or loss occurs. The main reasons of insertion loss include absorption, misalignment, mismatch, or air gap between the fiber optic components. Return loss or the loss caused by back reflection is the signal power loss when the fiber light gets reflected at the connecting point. It is expressed in the negative decibels. The back reflection is primarily concerned for single mode fiber. This occurs most often at the connector's interfaces. Reasons include but not limited to dirty connector and poorly mated connectors. In order to reduce the back reflection and return loss caused by back reflection, we use many methods which include polishing single mode fiber connector ferro with different ships. Different polish ships reduce return loss differently expressed with negative decibels. The less decibels, the less return loss. In the following several minutes, I will talk about four different fiber connector polish styles. Flat fiber connector or flat, physical contact connector or PC, ultra polished connector or UPC, and angle polished connector or APC. Now let me talk about them one by one. We use black arrow line to represent the normal laser light traveling in the fiber core. When two flat connectors meet, some light, we use a red line here to represent them, will be reflected and return to the source. We can see flat connector has a relatively large interface, thus possibly leaving a small air gap between two connected fiber connectors, thus resulting in more return loss. A PC connector is polished with a slight core design to reduce the overall size of the interface. It can reduce the air gap between the interfaces compared with the flat fiber connectors, thus resulting in lower return loss or optical return loss. If a PC connector ferro interface is polished with a slight curvature, UPC is polished more on its ferro interface which results in a better surface finish. The curvature makes them look more like domed shaped convex interface, thus resulting in lower back reflection. UPC is popular in the market and applications. If you see blue colored connector, you know the connector is a single mode UPC connector. APC polish is when a fiber connector interface is polished at 8 degree angle. The polish style allows even tighter or smaller interface connections. 
thus achieving the better performance than UPC. Actually, it's the best compared with the other three. APC Connect Color is green. Color coding for fiber can be very complicated, but we only focus on three color schemes for LC connectors here, beige, blue, and green. We use LC or little connector as an example. Beige color indicates multi-mode fiber connector. Blue color indicates the LC connector ferro polish style is UPC. Green color means single mode connector ferro is APC. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.